welcome back to my youtube channel this is still Patrice Henry from Henry Farmer Sites Uganda uh, so today I want to talk about the tomatoes and how to grow them please don't turn off wait for this uh, first you have to consider the type of soil you have as you see this on mine uh, the soil must be filled with uh charcoal dust as you see i think you see some pieces of charcoal dust uh, then before charcoal dust there must be either chicken droppings or cow dung chicken droppings or cow dung then the charcoal ash so that to increase on the fertility rate of your soil so that in case you plant your crops they produce a good yield as you see this soil so i'm going to show you how to make it okay let's start so first before doing the other thing that i've told you your soil will first have to look like this because it's the bare soil with, with nothing as you see you will first have to look like this uh, so step one uh, get chicken droppings in case you have if you don't have chicken droppings you can get either rabbit or another thing which is an animal that produces uh, droppings and then do not put it do not apply it directly into the soil uh, but what you have to first do first try sun dry it if in case after sun drying it uh, sun dry it for one week one week is enough so by that one week when you are sun drying it uh, it will have to compost itself to soil so if it starts breaking down to small pieces uh, then you come back to our soil I showed you in the first place and you get it and join it into the what into the soil so majorly that may be the most tricky thing around you get it and join it into the soil uh, after joining it into the soil the droppings secondly you get uh, secondly you get your charcoal ash and charcoal particles those small charcoal dust and charcoal ash uh, so you get charcoal ash i would prefer you have two liters two liter cups yeah fully filled with the charcoal dust and charcoal ash then you pour a seal in this soil that you have added uh, the manure these chicken droppings you get then you add in that so then put the charcoal ash and the charcoal dust after that i would prefer you to leave it for three days before planting anything because if you hurry to plant automatic case the water is going to burn up because the water is on high degrees the soil has a high temperature so that's why when you go to put this charcoal dust or charcoal ash to reduce that temperature that over speeds at a high rate yeah so thirdly let's go to the step of transplanting uh, thirdly our third step uh, we have reached the tomato seedlings so these are the seedlings i was talking of uh, so now these seedlings have been there for like one week one week and a half of it around five to four days uh, so they are going to transplant them uh, you're going to look at their stems where they started to develop from because this is the right stage for them to be transplanted uh, since they are all at the same rate i will not prefer to use a trowel you see they grew from the same place so what i want you to do simply just catch it gently i think we have caught it gently then you try to pull it very gently gently you see minus damaging any root then you put that aside then you get to move another and gently gently slowly slowly yeah also that is removed so after that we shall get our our, our plants uh, and you put them into another place where they are going to grow from uh, that place that's where they will start from to grow 
until their maturity stage. Uh, as you see these other ones that we have tried to put there. Uh, so yeah. After a few weeks this is how our seedlings will look after using the type of soil and the natural fertilizers I recommended to use. They will look healthy like this. Uh, so for more details uh, or any query about agriculture uh, please visit me on my youtube channel which is Kasasa Henry Farmer Search and uh, please like, comment, subscribe and like this channel. Thank you for watching.